Okay, hi there, it's Dr. Buford. We're just getting started on the right shoulder. We're looking in from the back to the front, just like we showed you before. And right now we're just using our shaver. Just to try and have a good look inside the joint here. I don't see much different. Okay, so here's where the recurrent tear is right at the top of the screen here. You can see it's very vascular. We're going to stop inside the joint and switch positions with your shoulder in just a minute here. And we'll be able to find this area pretty quickly once we change positions with your shoulder. Okay, so we're in the subacromial space. We've spent a fair amount of time cleaning out the space, just so we can see, you had a lot of inflammatory tissue, more than just the normal healing response. And I think that's why the MRI scan was read the way it was, as being abnormal and suspicious for re-tear. Now, as we look here, the camera's in the lateral portal. This instrument you see here is coming in from posterior. And we're just going to start from the back and work our way forwards and see what we find here. So I think you can see the same suture that I'm seeing. There's a suture right there. That looks pretty good. You can see how it starts to synovialize, which is just a fancy way of saying it starts to get covered up with soft tissue. Okay. And so, again, we're just trying to clear the picture up for you. So that looks good. If there was a tear, it would be down here lateral to that. And so far, so good. As we sit here and rotate the shoulder, this is internal rotation. This would show us the very back of the tear. And I'm seeing tendon tissue all the way across. External rotation this way looks pretty good too. So I think that stitch is looking good. As you come up here more to the front. Okay, we'll see what else we can find here. We'll show you some more in a little bit. Okay, so I'm rotating your shoulder here. And I'll tell you, that doesn't look bad. I'm not seeing a big gap. There's that one suture we can still see. But even as I slowly work my way lateral, I'm not seeing any significant detachment there. This here on the right, that's our anterior cannula. We'll show you some more in a little bit. Okay, so, you know, when we did this before, we put in a whole bunch of sutures, like seven or eight. And for the most part, they've all been covered up like they're supposed to be. So that's a good sign. I don't see any gaps in the tendon. That's another good sign. You had a lot of inflammatory. Here's a suture right here. See how they get covered up right there? There's one. There's another one. But they get hard to see. So I don't think we have to revise the repair. I think that held solid, even though you had that little bit of an injury. So that's the best of all possible news. We're going to finish up here shortly and get you back to the recovery room, okay? So I really hope this does the trick for you. And like I said, I think this is, this is good news. So good luck to you now. Bye-bye.